of this one will be shut down averted, but what happens next? All right. So for those of you that may already know, all right, there was talk about a possible government shutdown effective at midnight late, later this evening, uh, going into October 1st. They, they, they were talking about this, uh, this so-called government shutdown for the past week now, all right? And, and there was the looming possibility that the shutdown would have been possible uh, after later tonight, effective at midnight. But apparently, you know, that won't be happening uh, at least for now, all right? As I'm getting ready to pull out the article right here, all right? Let's pull up the article. All right? Because the, the article says that, uh, you know, that they made a, a new deal to avert the shutdown. Hold on a second. Salakia. All right. Here we go now. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, um, Esau was trying to bring the, you know, he was trying to, he was trying to, uh, you know, he, he's basically, uh, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? The sh shutdown eminent, that, 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 that was really the talk only a day ago or, or even earlier today, all of a sudden, you know, they, they passed. That they passed a 45-day funding bill and late bid to avert government shutdown. Okay, it says that the House passed, okay, a 45-day funding bill and late bid to avert government shutdown. All right. So allegedly, they're gonna keep the government running. For, for at least another 45 days, right? But what happens after that? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to read a little bit of this article, uh, Lord willing. All right. Let's see if I could re read a little bit of this article. And, you know, uh, and, 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 and a handful, at least two or three scriptures, all right, that will tie into this thing. And... Lord willing, I hope it gets to be edifying. All right. So trying to scroll down here. The House passed a 335 slash 91. The House passed a bill 335 slash 91 Saturday afternoon to fund the government for 45 days hours before a government shutdown was to go into effect. The bill House Speaker Kevin McCarthy put to vote ultimately put Salakia, the House, the bill House Speaker Kevin McCarthy put to a vote ultimately won't support from more Democrats than Republicans. 90 Republicans voted no on the continuing resolution to fund the government. And just a single Democrat voted against the short-term funding measure. The bill would fund the government at current 2023 levels for 45 days. It does not contain funding for Ukraine that was sought by Democrats but opposed by Republicans, but does not include spending for disaster relief. All right? So this whole thing has a, must have a, a great deal to do in part with all the millions that, that's been funded on Ukraine to, to you know, to help, to, to help the war effort keep going over there, man. You see what I'm saying? All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read a, a little more of this. McCarthy was forced to rely on Democrats for 
passage because the speaker's heart, right, flag said, all right, and Salaki about this little blockage here, any short-term measure, the speaker set up a process for, for voting requiring a two-thirds supermajority, all right, Salaki, supermajority about 290 votes and the 435 member house for passage. Republicans hold a 221-212 majority with two vacancies. All right? And it goes on to say in the next paragraph, before the vote, McCarthy indicated the cost of a shutdown to Americans, particularly those in uniform, was too high. I am asking Republicans and Democrats alike, put your partisanship away, focus on the American public, he said. How can you in good conscience think of the men and women who volunteer to risk their lives to defend us, to say they can't be paid, be while we work out our differences. That is unfair. I cannot do that to our men and women in uniform. End quote. All right. All right, and another headline, but I won't read that. Ukraine funding not included in short-term spending bill. All right, like I said earlier, they've already spent millions and millions of dollars instead of instead of spending that money here they spend it somewhere else you understand what i'm saying all right so anyway they may have averted this shutdown for now all right because the most high is ultimately in control of everything all right Ain't nothing major happening yet because it's the most highest will yet, man. But, you know, sooner or later when, when, when the most high does want something to happen, all right, if he wants another shutdown that, uh, to happen, it, it will happen. It might happen after the next 45 days, man. 45 days is almost nothing, man. The, you, you know, uh, uh, October 1st is tomorrow, right? 45 days. We're, we're talking to mid-November, mid man. By mid-November, it might be here we go again, and you might hear of another shutdown, and before you know it, it will happen, man. All right? So let, let's let's just go to the scriptures now, Lord Lord's will. All right? Not make this necessarily too long tonight. Let me see if I can close this window here. All right. Salak. Close this window. All right. All right. Let's just pull out the, the blue letter Bible now. All right. All right, so I'm in Blue Letter Bible, Jeremiah 51, all right, and 7. I'm going to read a few verses. Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Now, when it's talking about, when it's talking about that, that, that Babylon, which is uh, which is uh, AKA America, has made the nations drunken. It's not really talking about physically uh, 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 wine, all right. It's talking about it's talking about this country's, this nation's philosophies, all right. It's talking about America's philosophies and its its doctrines, all right. They they basically have been trying to get the whole world to follow their ways. You understand what I'm saying? The the so-called American way of life, Americana. All right. 
you go to these other countries like Japan and China, all right, even parts of the Middle East, all right, you might see a, 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 a damn McDonald's there or a Burger King, all right, a McDonald's, Burger King, or, or, or KFC in places like China, Japan, even Russia, even the Middle East, all right? They, 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 they incorporate their companies into these other countries, man, all right? That, that, and, and, and they want the nations to follow them. You understand what I'm saying? Um, uh, uh, another good example, the, the women, the women of, of, of the Middle East, all right? That's right, uh, Middle Eastern women, if you look it up on, on, on Google or even YouTube, right? That they are brought up very differently in, in, in terms of tradition and ways, unlike that of America, all right? But, 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 but what's happened is that some of these women have already been corrupted, all right? By 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 Esau, all right. Esau teaching them to go a certain way, to to go to to go the same way as most of these women do here, all right. Go out and commit adultery. Be 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 unfaithful and unloyal to your husband, and so on. And, and hey, that that that's that's really pissed off a lot of them so-called Arabs, man them Ishmaelites, all right? That, that's why it says here, therefore the nations are mad, all right? At this country, you know what I'm saying? That, that teaching, that teaching other nations to follow their ways, all right? That's pretty much the bottom line here, all right? Verse 8, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain, if so she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, and let us go every one into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven, and is lifted up even to the skies. All right? So right now, all right? You see what they're doing in, in so-called Washington right now? The so-called shutdown, all right, has been allegedly averted for now, all right? And we got another 45 days, right, before before even another shutdown may happen. Okay? So 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 what they are what they are really doing, you know what I'm saying? One one brick, one brick falls out of an already falling building. You understand what I'm saying? A, a, a couple of other bricks may, 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 may fall out. And what they do is try to uh, uh, put in another brick. You know what I'm saying? To keep, to try and keep the building from collapsing, man. All right? So, so, so that's exact. So that, so that's really the spiritual state of being that this country is really in right now. It's one big ass collapsing building, man. Getting ready to demolish, just the way the the the, the towers fell. All right. So that's what's happening here. All right. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven, unto the Most High and the angels, and lifted up to the skies. All the corruption, all the evil. All right. All the sin that's going on here. All right, a good example of, of, of that is these schools now trying to indoctrinate today's children, today's kids, all right, and, and following and believing in the rainbow movement, if you know what I'm saying, all right, that, that's evil, that, 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 that's corruption, all right, that, that, that's not right in the sight of the supreme being. That's why it says here, all right, her judgment reacheth uh, unto heaven and is lifted up unto the, to the skies, all right? Jeremiah 51 and 10, 
the Lord have brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Most High, our power. All right. Now from there, let's go to Proverbs 21 now. All right. Proverbs 21. All right. And I'm going to read a few verses from verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth whithsoever he will. All right. So the king's heart is referring to to the current rulers of, of America, Babylon the Great, all right? The, the, the international banking family, all right? The international banker, uh, bankers that run this whole society, right? They think they got a grip on everyone and everything, but the Most High already has a grip on them, all right? Whatever, whatever they do, whatever orders that they tell the, their puppets what to do, and whether in Washington or, or in other countries of the world, all right? It's basically the will of, 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 of the Lord himself, man, of Yahweh Bahashan Yahweh all right? He puts the instructions in, in their head and their minds, all right, on to do his bidding, on to do his will. If he wants a certain conflict, a war to continue in so and so country, that 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 that's that's the Lord's own will, and He puts it into the minds like like Vladimir Putin, for example, all right, to to continue this this struggle in Ukraine and so on, okay, so 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 that that's the same thing with this uh with this country's uh policies. And where it's going, all right? You 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 might hear of, of another shutdown uh, by 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 mid next month, man. Uh, Forty five days. Come on now, all right? Forty five days is really nothing, man. By 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 so called Thanksgiving, you understand what I'm saying? There 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 might be and there might be a a, a real shutdown, man. All right, they're trying desperately, not 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 to let this place collapse, man. Okay, but it, but it, ultimately, when when the Most High wants it to finally crumble, it will collapse. All right, it will collapse, man. All right. Verse two: Every way of a man is right in his own eyes. But the Lord pondereth the hearts. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. And high look and a proud heart and the plowing of the of the wicked is sin. Alright? The thoughts of the diligent tend only to plenteousness, but everyone that is hasty only to want. The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a vanity tossed to and fro of them that seek death. All right, so what's that really talking about? The getting of treasures by a lying tongue. That's talking about the so-called white man, man. That's talking about Esau, the Edomite, the nation of Edom. Okay, how they, how they acquired the, this, this, this country from the Native American Indians, how they acquired the rest of the world, all right? By getting their riches with a lying tongue, we come in peace, I come in peace. So-called Cristobal Coloma, Christopher Columbus, man, and all the bloodshed and slaughter that, that, that he caused on those islands, man, all right? So that's a good example of that. The getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a vanity tossed to and fro of them that seek death. All right, and, who sh and you should know better by now who are those that are famously known to seek death. 
All right. Verse 7. The robbery of the wicked shall destroy them because they refuse to do judgment. All right. So the robbery, the robbery of these Edomites, all right, aka so-called white man, shall destroy them. No matter no matter what they do, no matter what efforts they do to, you know, keep this place from falling apart. All right. Evidently, when the Lord really wants it to fall apart, it's just going to be like, like one big domino effect, man. Okay? You got, you got this thing happening and, and that thing happening. All right? It, you know, it's going to be uh, all, out, all out chaos, all out confusion. All right? Okay, the, the, the Lord is the, the, the Lord is gonna bring perplexity of nations. All right, as 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 for as foretold in the book of, of Sephaniah, if I'm not mistaken. Perplexity of nations, that that's confusion. All right. So much hell breaking loose, all right, that not even your 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 highly top skilled whatever <clears throat> of the so-called white man, your, your so-called experts, they're not going to have a clue uh, on what to say. All right? Salak. All so that's basically the bottom line here. The robbery of the wicked. All right? And they did stole this so-called this so-called great country. How did they steal it by bloodshed? All right. So so their judgment is destruction, man. Okay. That's what the Most High has set up for them. All right. Now. Let's go to one more scripture. Just bear with me a moment. All right, so I'm going to end it with Second, Second Chronicles, all right, 20 and 12. All right. And it says this. All right. All our power. Will thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that cometh against us. All right. But that, that, that's talking about Jacob's trouble. All right. The, 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 this, the, this next shutdown that, that's coming, if it will come, after 45 days, could lead to chaos and, and Jacob's trouble, man. All right? That's why they desperately did everything they could to avert it for now. Because they know the consequences it would bring. All right? It could be all, all kind of consequences. Remember, I mentioned that word perplexity a little while ago. Perplexity of nations, man. All out confusion, all out chaos. All right, order out of chaos, man. All right, and 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 and, and when blacks, when so-called blacks lose their cool, and they go out and riot every major city, they're gonna come after everybody, man. They're gonna send their their paramilitary troops and all that. Okay, so so the prophet is asking the Most High here. And this scripture, O Most High, will thou not judge them? For we have no might against this great company, this great, this great army, that they want to come after us, man. Every every last one of us. All right, whether you like it or not, that includes even you. They're gonna come after you. All right. So for we have no might against this great company that cometh after us. Neither we know what to do. 
All right, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? My God, my God, what do I do? You see what I'm saying? But it concludes here to say, but our eyes are upon thee. Okay? Our eyes are, are upon the most high, man. And these days of trouble that and, and perplexity that's coming. All right? Our eyes should rest on him, man. He, he, he got everything under control. He ain't called nor is the most high for nothing. Okay? Now, I said I was going to end it here, right? Hold on a minute. Let me type this verse here. The name of the Lord, right? Okay. Hold on a second. Hold on a minute. Yeah, but Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Most High is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. All right? So, so the name of Yahweh Bahashan Yahweh Shai, the true living power, is a strong tower, man. We must run into it in, in these last days. All right? And therefore, Lord willing, be safe. All right? No matter what may go down. All right? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe.